Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we have another snack subscription box unboxing, and this is the Japan Crate. And I know that Japan Crate has many, many different um, subscription boxes. Sorry, my hair is a little crazy. Uh, whatever, it's quarantine, like, I'm doing my best. But they have different um, subscription boxes. They used to have Japanese um, beauty and makeup products, which I think they can't just cancel that subscription box. They also have stationery. They have um, ramen and they also have like those cute little figurines and they have like kawaii things which are like the cute little things you could buy in japan this is the snack box so this was 35 dollars a month and i think i paid 10 dollars for shipping normally they don't charge shipping but due to everything happening they charged me 10 dollars and i was not very happy about that but um yeah, let's see what's in here. I am no way sponsored for this box. I paid for it with my own money. So here is everything everything we have. <laughs> okay. So also when I signed up, they did a little Chinese New Year thing. So they sent me this envelope. And you are like guaranteed to win something. So let's see what I want. I bought, I got a $3 gift card to, what is happening to my dress, to their online store, which I probably won't use, so, um, yeah, I don't know, unless I can put it towards another subscription box, if I do end up liking this one. Then we have, this is August 2020, and here it tells you, like, different giveaways they have going on and they also have some news about Japan and uh, they're teaching you some words in Japanese and they're also telling you everything that's included in this box so let's see and I'm gonna need a drink for this because I can feel like it's going to be a lot of sweet stuff okay. so the first thing I see is, I believe this is our, no, it is not. This is the Cool Cider Mochi. So it says, use a stick to pick up these bite-sized soda flavor mochi. Each piece is in the cool blue cider flavor and color. Okay. Let's see. And this is stick. Okay, we got it. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. I can't even. I can't describe the flavor, but it's really, really good. Okay, then we have watermelon seed candy. See what this is about. Are you? This candy looks a lot like watermelon seeds. At first, the scent of watermelon comes through and the sweetness spreads in your mouth. As you begin chewing, you can enjoy a juicy taste as found in fresh watermelon and you're left with a refreshing aftertaste. So, um, as far as I know, they do have a lot of theme boxes and August is watermelon theme box. And I'm still undecided whether or not I like watermelon flavor things. I love fresh watermelon, but sometimes watermelon candy can be kind of disgusting. So, let's see. Hmm. So, it doesn't really look like a watermelon seed. It looks like a tiny little M&M, but... Mmm! Oh! That's so good. It tastes like fake watermelon, but like really good fake watermelon. Okay. Then we have this. And I have no idea what this is. This 
this is Wonder Dormon gum. So we will try this one later because you know it's gum and I want to be able to try other things before I pop a piece of gum in my mouth. But then we have this. <laughs> Everything's so cute in here. And this is the Premium Puzzle and Dragons Bisque Umaibo. This Umaibo is a special collaboration with the popular game Puzzle and Dragons. This corn snack contains the sweet and umami flavor of Omar shrimp as an accent to the creamy texture of bisque soup filling out the flavor. I might like this. So, here is what it looks like in here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It tastes like shrimp ramen. Or crab ramen. Oh, it's so good. But this is an acquired taste. I like this kind of stuff because I grew up in Ukraine. And I'm just used to eating stuff like this. But I have a feeling that not a lot of people will like this. Okay. Then we have another watermelon thing. Here we have it. It's a little fish diving into watermelon. Okay, I need some drink. Okay. Let's read about this fish. This is, mine is different, but I'm assuming it's this one. So this is a salt watermelon puku puku thai. Experience Tayaki, a Japanese uh, Japanese fish dessert with this unique summer edition wafer snack. It's made of crunchy green wafers and has an airy watermelon flavored chocolate filling. What do you taste more of, watermelon or chocolate? And I'm sorry guys, there's a child screaming outside my window. Um, my windows are open and I live above a very popular Mexican restaurant. So... Oh, it smells really good. Oh my god. Look at it. I'm so sad. I was supposed to go to Maui and I was supposed to go to Tokyo next month and I had to cancel it. And I am just living through these snacks and Japanese skincare and stationery and all kinds of things. But anyways, let's try this fish. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad eating it. Mmm. It's like airy on the inside. It has like those bubbles. It's really good. It's not too sweet. I don't really know if I taste the chocolate. I mostly, mostly taste watermelon. Okay, then we have... <laughs> it's a little mini bottle. How cute. What are you about? I'm not even... Oh, okay. So, mini bottles. Sprinkle your tongue and cider sh sherbet with this resealable miniature bottle of powder, powder candy. Receive one of three flavors. Strawberry, cider, or lemon. And I am assuming this is cider or lemon. Either way, we're going to find out. Just look at it. It's just, oh, I really want to go to Japan. Everything's so cute. Okay, <clears throat> all right, I need some more soda. Wow, that is sour and chalky, but it does kind of melt in your mouth. Okay, then we have whatever this is. I'm like literally a kid in the candy store right now. 
And this is the Be Careful Sour Soda, ready for a sour candy game of chance. It's a roulette with one of the three candy gumballs containing the super sour taste of our moon soda, while the others are sweet. Which one did you get? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's three. It smells like our moon soda. Okay. This one is sweet. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Okay, so I think this is our activity, maybe? gum. This is gum. So. Oops. I didn't even pay attention to that part. Anyways, now we have this cute little candy here. And this is the Cider Ball Remune. Pop the flavor of lemon soda remune in your mouth with this ball-shaped candy. Okay. I will do that. It's like edible chalk and excuse me guys. For one moment, I will just close my window. Sorry, it's getting a little distracting. Anyways, moving on. Now we have this blowing watermelon. this this is the yellow watermelon gum oh my god they're killing me with all the gum okay so we're gonna leave this one for last again and right now I'm pulling out a drink and it's a uh, got a little smushed and transferred but I fixed it and I guess it's like vanilla soda or vanilla ice cream soda rich ice vanilla this rich ice vanilla drink has both intense flavors of vanilla and creamy milk it's smooth like ice cream and flavored with vanilla from Madagascar for rich vanilla scent. The aftertaste is refreshing and is perfect for the summertime. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. It tastes like creme brulee. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Now what we have? We have this pineapple here. And this is the golden pine pineapple fettuccine gummy. In the shape of Italian fettuccine pasta, each gummy has a sweet and sour golden pineapple taste. Like pasta, it has a slightly hard and chewy texture of al dente pasta. Okay. Here's what it looks like. It does kind of look like pasta. Mm. It just tastes like pineapple, so nothing special. Mm. The um, texture is really nice, though. Then we have, what are all these? Okay, there are these two little ones. So here's this. What are you? 
This is a cola ball. Pop this so cola confectionery ball in your mouth for that refreshing soda taste when you're in a hurry. Okay. Mm. Actually, is this hard candy? I'm not sure. No, I don't think it is. But you know what? Let's try it. Why not? If I can get it open. Ooh. Oh, that is weird. It's like jiggly. Do I just slurp it or something? Mmm. Okay. Texture is really weird, but it does taste like cola. Then we have this guy here, Einstein. And what is this? Who is this mints? Refresh your taste buds with these unique, unique mints. Each one comes with a one of 70 historical figure stickers. Which one did you receive? Damn, that's a lot. All right, how do we open this? I don't even know if I'll be able to open it. This is crazy, okay. Got it. <gasps> no, wait, there's someone else on the inside. Who is that? So the historical figures on the inside, that's so cool. But who is it? I have no clue. Does anyone know who this might be? Like, I know there's mints in the way, but yeah, okay. Let's try some of these mints. They're like weird. They're like sour mints. Okay. Then we have, what is this? There's, I'm so confused by everything. Okay, so this is our bonus. Whatever this is, I'm guessing it's gummies. This is White Soda Polar Bear Happiness Gummy. These gummies are possum and shaped like the paws of cute polar bears. Each one is soft, chewy, and bursting full of classic Japanese white soda. A lot like Ramune. Its center is filled with a melted jelly too. Yum. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, that soda is so good. You know, I might actually keep this box. It's really fun. Oh, how cute. Oh, they smell really good too. So it kind of looks like a, I don't know, I thought a flower, but it's definitely a paw. Mmm. These are good. Then we have we have noir black cocoa soft cookies. That's what they look like. And this is apricot and chocolate noir soft cookies. This pack of soft cookies is like no other. Each cookie is individually wrapped and contains cocoa. 
with a moist and soft texture, a bittersweet chocolate cream, and a paste made from domestic apricots. Try it chilled from the freezer for a sweet summer treat. Obviously, I don't have time to chill it right now, but I will definitely be popping them in the freezer after this video. And let's see. I'm curious about this. I really like um, the taste of apricots. So <laughs> they're really cute. Hmm. They taste like those moon pies. I think. I haven't had one of those in a very long time. Then we have this, and I'm guessing these are watermelon gummies. What is this? <clears throat> this is watermelon and melon bear gummy? B E R? These gummies are in the cute shape of popsicles with two flavors, watermelon and melon. They're especially yummy when eaten freshly frozen from the freezer first. Which flavor is your favorite? Again, I don't have time to freeze these things, but we'll definitely pop them in the freezer after this video. And I don't know how to... Oh, oh okay, there's the little tab. Oh, cute. See little popsicles. Oh, they smell really good. It's watermelon. No. Yeah. It is watermelon. Oh, they're really good. And this one is the melon. Mm, wow. So good. Actually prefer the watermelon they taste similar but the wa watermelon has a stronger flavor so next up we have these chips but what are they with whoa this is weird very sour mucho super plum flavor the Mucho series has been considered the pioneer of sour snacks in Japan. This one is no exception. With 35% more ume, salted Japanese plums, and citric acid, each chip has a refreshing yet stimulating flavor, flavor for your taste buds to bring a unique and sour flavor experience. You know what I'm going to do after this video? I'm going to order some ramen because I really want some Japanese food right now. I don't know how to feel about these, but... We'll give it a taste. I'm a little scared. Here we have it. Just a regular baby chip. Hold on. This is super interesting. Ooh. I'm going to have another one because we've been eating... All types of candy. Mmm. This is so good. My cat is jealous. Nice. Okay. Then we have three more left. Which two of them are gum. So we have this cola thing. And what is this? Okay, so every box they include a DIY candy. So this is this month's DIY candy. So this is Vending Machine Cola DIY. 
For Mayhi, this fun DIY mimics what it would be like to get cola soda from a vending machine, but in gum, in fun gummy form. Containing two soda flavor gummies, peel away the candies from the tray and drink up. Okay. Oh, guys, I really want to go to Japan. When will this end? Oh my god. This is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. Look at it. You just drink it up and it comes with two flavors, I said. Okay. So let's drink a small one. If I can get it out. Ooh, these are really hard to get out. This is what I that I managed to pull up. Okay. Tastes like Coke. I'll try the other one too. So this one's just a little darker. Mm, so cute. Then we have our two gums. Put this one's away. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so let's try this watermelon gum. This is the yellow watermelon gum. Have you ever had yellow watermelon? This gum contains two pieces of chewy candy with a fun-filled texture of sugar seeds added for a sweet, chewy snack. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and they're like big pieces too. And it has the little seeds in there. I'm just going to have a little bite. It's like very subtle flavor, but it's really good. Then we have, you know, these guys. And this is the last item in the box. And this is Wonder... Duramon gum. Duramon is ready to mix up some new flavors to chewing gum with you. With strips of great green apple, yogurt, and soda flavors, what can you come up with? Okay. <laughs> How cute. Alright, let me put this one out. Then we're going to try, which one should we try? Let's try grape, because I don't really like grape flavor things, and so let's just get the boring stuff out of the way. It actually tastes really good. It tastes like grape juice, which I like grape juice. I just, again, just like with the watermelon, I don't like, or cherry stuff, I don't like artificial flavored things. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed by this box. I thought that everything was yummy. I really like those chips, those sour plum chips. I've never heard of anything like this before. And I think I might subscribe for at least another month. We'll see. But yeah, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.